The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. everyone. Welcome to the show and hello to all the listeners if you're new and this is your first time with us, which now includes Speak Up Talk Radio Network. want to welcome you as well. We have a family that grows and this show focuses on lifting humanity, lifting the spirit of humanity, encouraging. I mean, we all go through ups and downs, but when we look at things from a metaphysical point of view, We're shifting the energy of how we put our intention into something. And we're going to talk about that today where we're healing the spirit of humanity, which is part of how we heal ourselves in our physical life as well. Now, right up front, this is not something I'm talking about that replaces medical treatment if that's what you need because if it's going on you know that's a different story it's already there physically we're talking about the energy behind physical illness today the energy of intention our belief um, our emotions what mindset we're in this really does set the stage for physical health it does Uh, there's science reports out there that you can go look up that show the positive uh, thinking people live longer, things like that. I mean, science is showing the same thing using different words, but that is the energy of their perspective on life. They always try to find a positive in something. And I, it was interesting when I was studying and doing some of uh, the research, gathering my notes, because this is very much a part of what I do as a healer, When I am working with someone, they may be going through a tough illness, but um, we're working on, well, what's going on on the inside with that spirit of you? What's going on with you inside the spirit, the energy of you? And that's the part I focus on. That's the part that when that lights up and it shifts, the body responds. I mean, we are spiritual in the physical body. I mean, what do you think's moving that pound of flesh around, right? So it, when you look at that perspective um, in that way, you realize, well, that's that's the gears. That's That's everything that's driving everything I'm about in my life. Everything. Now, some of us, you know, we, we've come here and, and, Uh, We came with a challenge when we were born. I mean, some people were born with a challenge. In a metaphysical uh, perspective, that was something chosen before you even came to Earth. So, you you know, we choose things for our soul growth. Um, We look at it as, okay, if I go with that challenge, it's going to help me overcome and learn that lesson in life that I came here to learn. It's very different when we take it to a metaphysical approach or spiritual looking at this picture. Like It's kind of like looking at the bigger picture versus just this physical lifetime right now because it all starts to make sense that, you know, those things, those questions that you've had, all your life that just never seemed to have an answer or you couldn't find an answer, it's might it might be time to look beyond. It might be time to look beyond at a bigger picture. Look past the obvious, the what's right in front of you. Because that that could be the very block that's holding you back. 
that that could be what's keeping you stuck. So it's interesting because when I was studying this, um, you know, there's common ones. There's very popular common ones, and I'll address a few of those in the in the show. And I'm also going to give you some ways that you can work with this. Now, if this is a brand new idea to you, um, just bear with me. Listen with an open mind, and you may find that some of it okay and some of it not quite yet, but you also may find or discover, hey, that's not a bad idea. I mean, you know, in a logical mind, they'll be, well, what have I got to lose? This isn't working for me anyway. I mean, is the anger really helping you feel any better after a while? I mean, it's a natural emotion that we have. Um, it's there for a reason, but it's not there to hold, fest, or keep, you know, just basically I call it emotional hoarding, just holding on to all this emotional stuff, you know, that just is weighing you down. We process it, we acknowledge it, and we find ways to um, improve if it was something that was challenging. That, I mean, that is... That is the very positive approach to things. If you'll find, you'll find that successful people, positive people, people that take care of themselves um, physically, I mean, they, they do their best for self-care. They have a self-love and they respect and honor that they are in this lifetime and they're taking care of that vehicle that their spirit is housed in while they're here. And it just seems like everything goes their way, doesn't it? It does. I'm sure you feel like, like, boy, they live a charmed life. In a metaphysical explanation of that, they are living positively. They have their thoughts focused on what they do want, not what they don't want. And they find ways when challenges pop up to just make things better or find a better way. If they find a better way to approach it. So if a roadblock pops up for you, okay, maybe it's time to reassess how you're going about it. Maybe it's time to find a different way to approach this situation. Or, um, oh, what do I got to learn from this experience? Wow, that's the first thing I do. And boy, that has been a life changer for me. Okay, this just keeps popping up. So, or I can't seem to get past it going at this direction. So, what do I need to learn here? Um, your physical body gives you signs and, and indications. It communicates all the time. It's a, it's a major antenna for your intuitive side and your intuitive skills. We talked about those different ways that we picked that up in the last show. But we have an antenna here, and it'll let you know if something's you know, a miss or, uh, you know, we need you to pay attention to this a little bit. It's, it's giving you indications that you might need to explore. Um, I'm going to go into a couple of them. Some of the most common ones that are out there today. And if it's interesting because the couple of the common ones that seem to be big out there on physical discomfort or illness are also correlating with the emotion that seems to be the issue as well. Um, so across humanity, wow. Individually, we help humanity when we work on what we have going on individually. It's, it's a big deal. Um, the show is about healing your spirit, which in turn, if your spirit is in balance and you are, you are growing positively through your challenges and you, you have, um, love in your heart and you know you're you're living with that intention for happiness your body's going to respond and it's going to let you know this would help my cells reproduce so much better if we changed our diet or uh maybe we should work with this or you know maybe we need to go do some healing work with somebody uh maybe we need to start an exercise program things like that your body's going to tell you you don't have to wait for somebody to tell you what to do Listen to your body. It's talking to you every day. 
We're talking about healing the spirit of humanity. You're listening to The Jen Roaster Show. I'm Dr. Jen. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Are you ready to feel empowered and trust your own intuition? Now you can learn how with intuitive counselor and spiritual teacher, Dr. Jen Royster. Intuition, the eighth chakra connection, is a four-week online workshop that's highly recommended for those ready to take their intuition to the next level. This intensive workshop will explore the access point to spirit, known as the seat of the soul. Learn how to connect with your higher self and the angelic realm. Explore the Akashic Records or a past life. Learn at your own pace with access to your workshop at any time. Sign up now for Intuition, the 8th Chakra Connection at jenroyster.com. J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Are you overwhelmed by other people's energy? Do you constantly suffer with emotional drain, exhaustion, or physical illness? You may be highly sensitive to energy and not aware of your powerful connection to spirit. Dr. Jen Royster is an intuitive spiritual counselor and energy healer that works with the angelic realm and has helped thousands of empathic souls successfully release negative energies, reclaim their personal power, and thrive. Life is to be enjoyed, not just endured. Book your private phone session today at jenroyster.com. We are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. If you're just tuning in, our discussion today is healing the spirit of humanity. This is a metaphysical approach to healing the disease, the the illness, uh, the imbalances of our lives, um, because our body responds to everything that's going on with our emotions, our spirit, our thoughts, our beliefs. That is creating the reality that you live in. And uh, in the first segment, I was going over, you know, what we were going to do. But, you know, in general, like the metaphysical approach to this and how can we determine what we have going on? Well, first of all, we have to not avoid what our body's trying to tell us. And we have to not avoid the emotion that we're feeling. Uh, Emotion, it's a lot of times it's a combination what I have found with my experience in working with people is, and in my own self as well, it's a combination of an emotion and a belief, usually the two, so that you have your emotional body and your, your mental body uh, kind of go in tandem and just going all at it there. And now that's causing a very hostile, chaotic energy field that 
the body is just, oh, you know, it's wearing it out. It's just, you know, it's causing it to be agitated. Um, and science proves all that. So I don't have time to go into all those aspects. You can go look all that up. There's lots of things out there on this. But I'm introducing you to this if this is new to you. And we're reiterating, if you are familiar with what I'm talking about, maybe there's a little piece here of the puzzle that's been missing. But let's take one of the most popular emotions that we have out there today, and that's called anger. Oh, boy, anger. And there is a couple of physical illnesses that are just running rampant out there that are so big that are related to that in a metaphysical way. Um, arthritis and things that are going on with the liver. If you look it up, you'll see what I'm talking about. There is this crazy thing going on out there with the liver. I mean, 90% of Americans have something that's not quite right with their liver levels. That's a lot of people. But the liver processes toxins of our body. It helps us process things. If we're eating a diet, for example, that, you know, it's got all the stuff in it, you know, I'm very much a green eater. I stay away from anything that does not need to be in my food. Okay. That's just me. But since I've done that, I'm a lot healthier too. And I feel a lot better. So there is something to that. I, I mean, that's my own scientific research personally on my own health. And that works. But Liver has, um, your liver does a lot of work. And if, if you're just filling that body with, you know, things that are just not healthy, you know, pesticides, the, you know, preservatives, um, just not healthy choices, basically, bottom line, uh, it backs up. It can't keep up with all this. It's got to process all these toxins out of there. Now it's so busy doing that that it can't keep up and also help you with your immunity. That's part of why your digestive system is a big factor that plays in the strength of your immune system. Okay? Now, liver in is in in relating to anger, that's a toxic energy. The liver helps our body process and get rid of toxins. It's related. If you look at energy versus the different parts of the body, it makes sense. Um, it makes so much sense. I mean, if you are having all kinds of things going on with your throat or you're coughing or you just can't clear, you know, you got all these different things. Yes, it manifests into many different reasons physically. But bottom line, that's fifth chakra. You got communication stuff going on. You know, you've got where you're you're. You got TMJ, your your jaw is so sore because you're clenching your mouth tight. You're frustrated in communicating. So the liver, it's holding in it. It's just, res, you know, holding this anger that needs to be released. It, it can be very common in things like that, uh, like the liver, uh, to be anger that you won't let go. You refuse. I mean, think about it. It's like it's the principle of the thing. It's just not right, okay? And you hear this all the time. You know, you're going to hold on to that anger because, just because, is it really worth it? Really? And then long-term anger, resentment starts to fall into place. And now you're looking at the arthritis stuff in the joints. Now you've got all this inflammation going on. Yes, all of that's also related to how we eat. But you see, it starts with the energy, period, because the energy is your mindset, your perspective. Why are you grabbing all that extra sugar that causes inflammatories to your body? Why are you craving this and that? Why? Because there is a spirit aspect here energetically that's trying to get your attention. And, and that's why I say this is the root cause of it all. That's why let's just go back to the root cause and work on that. Um, and this isn't something that you, oh, okay, that's it, and I'll just stop. You know, sometimes we have to confront some things that we don't want to confront. We don't want to go there. We want to just 
go through life and pretend that never happened or ignore it or rush through. You know, if you're going so fast that you're not aware of a lot of things around, is that another way of avoiding? Is that another way of avoiding being still and being quiet to just listen to your spirit, to listen to your own higher self, to make those connections and in a meditation, I mean, five minutes or, you know, you're going so fast that you're not here, you're not present. And then you wonder what's going on, you see. So, and we have, we're very quick to be angry about what everybody else is doing or what everybody else, um, you know, is, is, you know, you know, choosing for themselves or, and then, then there's the anger about what everybody's telling us what to do, right? We are choosing to let that anger us. Metaphysically, the energy of that is we are choosing to attach to that energy and hold it in our system and allow it to do that to us. That's the perspective from energy healing and a metaphysical approach to healing our spirit. And when you when you put it all down and you kind of go, well, why am I doing that? You know, I don't want to hold that. I don't want to keep that. Because we didn't know, you know, we, we're going with what we thought, you know, was the way to do it. Um, and then we get to the point where this just isn't working. And boy, are we feeling that right now, right? Today, hello, is a full moon. I want to put it out there. We have a full moon today where you can release this. So it was great timing for this particular episode. There is no reason to keep it. Why, why let it pull you down like that? Um, arthritis just is, you know, stacking layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of anger and resentment that just pile up. I mean, I've even had some problems with it. Okay. I knew, oh, okay. I got something in there. I've got to go deep to find out what that is. And, and we can go so deep. We can keep going. We go, can't figure out what it is. That's when you start moving into a past life. That's when you start going deeper into this to find out. Um, you go with the most current present and work your way backwards, really, to un to unlock it. If it's stacked on that way, then go in reverse is the way I see it working the best. And it's better because I keep I work on it. You know, I don't have the more I do with that, the better. And healthier my body responds. It's thanking me for that. And and when I really started applying this more and more, I just I was elated at how this isn't as hard as we make it to be. We we just don't realize that we're making it harder than it needs to be. Um, like the students right now that are in the eighth chakra course, that is Wow, they are popping those questions, and I'm so proud of them right now. They are really facing it and really going with it. And we're dealing with imbalances of eighth chakra in that course, which I won't go into too much right here. It's too much. That's why it's a four-week course. But I'm so proud of them because, you know, this is really going there and just, okay, what am I so afraid to work on? What am I avoiding? What is going on? Why, why is this happening to me? And they are going, wow, you know what? This is it. And and they're just doing it. And, they, and they're supporting each other. So there's ways you can do this without feeling like you're so isolated and alone. I share that as an example because I, I'm having such joy in my heart seeing that happening right now with them. And I absolutely love every one of them. And the work that they're doing personally is the work that's helping humanity. I'm so proud of them. It's just you have no idea. So, you know, th that's just one example. You don't have to be by yourself. You know, you can work with somebody that understands this or, you know, going it alone can be kind of tough, but there's you. it's not that you can. You can do it. Um, I am going to go over some tips during the show that can help you start to work with this approach um, because I really want you to to know that there is a lot of power in taking time to listen to your own higher self and to, and to your own body and, and to do some things that would honor and help your body heal on its own. And, 
you know, emotionally, this can get, you know, a little bit of work to do, but they have to process. Maybe they've just been held in there. So think about that. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to keep going. We're talking about healing the spirit of humanity. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Are you ready to feel empowered and trust your own intuition? Now you can learn how with intuitive counselor and spiritual teacher, Dr. Jen Royster. Intuition, the eighth chakra connection, is a four-week online workshop that's highly recommended for those ready to take their intuition to the next level. This intensive workshop will explore the access point to spirit, known as the seat of the soul. Learn how to connect with your higher self and the angelic realm. Explore the Akashic records or a past life. Learn at your own pace with access to your workshop at any time. Sign up now for Intuition, the 8th Chakra Connection at jenroyster.com. J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Are you overwhelmed by other people's energy? Do you constantly suffer with emotional drain, exhaustion, or physical illness? You may be highly sensitive to energy and not aware of your powerful connection to spirit. Dr. Jen Royster is an intuitive spiritual counselor and energy healer that works with the angelic realm and has helped thousands of empathic souls successfully release negative energies, reclaim their personal power, and thrive. Life is to be enjoyed, not just endured. Book your private phone session today at jenroyster.com.
we're back. Um, you know, today we're talking about healing the spirit of humanity. If you're just tuning in, that's our show topic. This is the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen, and we're exploring a metaphysical approach to healing, you know, the physical illnesses that pop up are energetic messages to us, like your spirit's trying to talk to you. We've, we've been discussing that. Um, I wanted to go over one more that's quite popular um, that affects us in a strong way across the globe. And, and, it, and the illusion of it is just, you know, really affecting people. And it's the worry, the anxiety, and the, and the fear. I know. There's that word again. Oh, but what is that? associated with physically what i have seen in my practice is a common denominator when those pop up it's third chakra the self-esteem uh the self-confidence obviously um it also um it's about your power have you given it to somebody else or do you have it yourself things like that uh, do you believe everything that somebody says you should or shouldn't, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, physically, it, it, it's a, related to a lot of respiratory, a lot of respiratory and breathing, something, everything that has to do with breathing, whether it's asthma, allergies, COPD, you know, that. Um, are you breathing very shallow? Anxiety, as soon as you go into an anxiety attack or panic, you are halfway breathing. You're not even breathing fully. You know, uh, your whole body lifts up and there's a tightening and you're, you're probably only filling your lungs part way. So everything is just closing down. Now, what is that energetically? Energetically, that is fear of taking life in you. You're breathing in life. That is taking life and being present and being here when you breathe in. And this is cutting all of that off. Like the fear just shutting it all out and not allowing life to flow in. Uh, Yeah, see? So energetically, there's a lot of information and, and, and points and clues as to what's going on that your body will let you know. One of the best things in the world, and I, I believe in, is practicing your breathing. Uh, it, it can open up an entire new perspective when you're working with chakra clearing or energy balancing and clearing. And people think it's just breathing. It's just breathing. Actually. No, it's not just breathing. It's a lot more than the way you, your perspective is on it. It's the most important thing you have. You need your breathing, right? Everybody needs to breathe. But it's so wired into our physiology and our uh, our nervous system. And it's, an, uh, it's amazing. If you can work with your breath and not be afraid to take life in. And when you do work with breathing exercises, it's, it usually surprises people how they... Uh, all of a sudden, they, they're all these emotions popping up or all these things are popping up that they really don't want to go there. So I, I do want to give you a heads up because going and doing a breathing exercise is going to have you go there and let's let's go there, face this. Let's let's feel this one and do it anyway and move past it. Right. Breathing helps you embrace and be present in life. You're here. If you have your breathing and you're working on that, you're here. If you're focusing on your breath, you're in the present. You're not avoiding it by worrying about the past or worrying about what you chose last week or worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow that hasn't even happened yet. If you're focusing on your breathing, then you're present. You're here. And that's important. And I mean, if you're present, that's where all the power is to do something about making changes. So if we're avoiding it, we're not here to do anything about it. And now we've disempowered ourselves. Now that causes more worry. And it's just a big snowball effect. 
So simply working with breathing exercises, yoga is wonderful for that, you know, and meditation practices are great for that. Um, They're very powerful, you know, learning tools to help you learn breathing, literally. And that's one of my biggest tips to give you. It's one of the foundations. And if you're trying to rush through it so fast that you don't want to take the time to work on your breathing, you're avoiding most of it. You're, you're not staying in the moment. You're, 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 you're trying to shortchange it. Um, it's not going to work that way. It's not going to work that way. And uh, your body responds to these types of exercises in a very, very positive way. Meditation has got numerous proven study researches out there that show how good it is for your health. I mean, that's meditation. They're starting to implement that even in schools I saw. So that's incredible. So why not, right? Um, You have all these things that you can do metaphysically to help your body heal. Now, breathing is one of them. Another one is... You know, when the, and this goes more with the thinking and the thought patterns and the beliefs that, you know, the belief system or the anger. Like, say you're holding on to the anger. You don't know how to let it go. Okay, well, first of all, you've got to go face, okay, and listen to the actual anger, all right? For example, a lot of people say, well, I don't even want to go there and think about that because then I'm just going to get too upset. okay. If you feel that you're so out of control with that, I suggest you have somebody help you professionally with that. Uh, But if you can go there and address and acknowledge, yeah, I've been angry about that. Acknowledge it so you can release it. This is full moon today. I want to talk about that, how we can release a lot of this. Um, if you could, sometimes we have to claim something to let it go. It's like, yes, I am angry about that. So we have to go, okay, now I've claimed it. Now let's find a way to let it go. You've gone there, you've faced it. And anger a lot of times wants to be heard. It's that side of us that feels like nobody's listening to, to them. If you take that moment and say, I'm listening to you, what is it? Let it let it spill out there, not hurting anybody. Like I said, if you can't control that, get some supervision with that, bottom line. But let's go there, okay? So we're angry about whatever. You know, now, how can we change that? We go in and we go, all right, this is it. This is my problem, okay? You've listened. That already in itself will calm it down more than you realize because, a lot of the anger comes from nobody notices me, nobody is listening to me, or nobody is paying attention or hearing me. So you're going to hear yourself, so to speak, with your higher self. Listen to it. It's like the higher self is listening to the ego side of us. I suggest write that out in one column. Okay, all right. Now in the next column, it's like, all right, let's make a plan to change it. So first of all, you take the sentence of anger and rewrite it, literally rewrite it, take the word anger out, replace it with a positive word. And you'll go, but I can't, I can't feel like that about that situation yet. Do it anyway, because you have to start somewhere. Okay. You have to start somewhere Um, and put it in there, you know, and when you're working with moon energy, you can write the, the, the situation out. Then you can tear it all up. This is a this is a full moon ritual that has been, you know, people do for years. But it really feels good to do this. And I've even worked with people uh, that are analytical that don't feel like they even understand this at all. A business guy was doing this. He couldn't forgive and let go. I said, write it all out on a piece of paper. Write it to somebody that you're upset with or you can't let go of. And then I want you to tear it all up and burn it. He goes, but I haven't forgiven them yet. I said, tear it up, burn it, and then let it go in the full moon energy, release it. He did that. He felt like he had to do the forgiving and then the act. I said, just do it in reverse and see. And it helped him. It helped him get there and connect. So sometimes we have to go through some kind of physical 
something to get our focus there. You know, we have to do that. So um, that's a couple of examples. We're going to go over a few more when we come back. So we're going to take the short break. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen, and we are discussing healing the spirit of humanity. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Are you ready to feel empowered and trust your own intuition? Now you can learn how with intuitive counselor and spiritual teacher, Dr. Jen Royster. Intuition, the eighth chakra connection, is a four-week online workshop that's highly recommended for those ready to take their intuition to the next level. This intensive workshop will explore the access point to spirit, known as the seat of the soul. Learn how to connect with your higher self and the angelic realm. Explore the Akashic Records or a past life. Learn at your own pace with access to your workshop at any time. Sign up now for Intuition, the eighth chakra connection at jenroyster.com. J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Are you overwhelmed by other people's energy? Do you constantly suffer with emotional drain, exhaustion, or physical illness? You may be highly sensitive to energy and not aware of your powerful connection to spirit. Dr. Jen Royster is an intuitive spiritual counselor and energy healer that works with the angelic realm and has helped thousands of empathic souls successfully release negative energies, reclaim their personal power, and thrive. Life is to be enjoyed, not just endured. Book your private phone session today at jenroyster.com.
And we are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. If you're just tuning in, we've been discussing healing the spirit of humanity in a metaphysical approach to physical illness and disease and imbalances, emotional, you know, happiness, the whole thing. Um, we've gone over quite a bit, and I'm going over a few tips, in the, and I'm going to give you a couple more before we go off the air here. Uh we have the full moon going today, so I wanted to uh, give you a couple that you could utilize that energy today right now. Um, if you have crystals, this is the best time. If you use crystals in energy work, this is the best time to put them out there for clearing them. Um, don't worry whether you can see the moon or not see the moon. It's the energy, okay? We don't see energy just like we don't see the breeze, but it's there and we know it's there. Um uh, salt. I love Dead Sea salt or Himalayan salt. If you feel that you are just bombarded emotionally and overloaded with all kinds of energy, use the salt. Use the salt. Salt bath. Get in the salt bath. Just let it pull it off of you. Um, I've had people that can't get down into a tub that are older, and they said it works wonders to just dissolve it in a pitcher plastic pitcher take it right into the take it right into the shower with them and they pour it over that way if you're in a pinch go to the sink and just wash your hands in the salt because it'll pull it off it pulls the energy it's a conduit to use the water and salt have you ever wondered why it feels so good to be by the ocean yeah because of salt water so i mean we have a lot of opportunity here that we don't have to keep it the biggest thing you're looking at is do you actually want to let it go? Do you want to do something about it? Because usually it's like, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, I can or I'm too busy. That's avoidance. I'm going to call you on that. I'm going to call and put a red flag up. You're avoiding letting it go. Why do you want to keep it? So these are questions to address. There's plenty of ways. If you work with angels or you want to start to work with the angels, it's not hard. You're simply asking for assistance from them because they're not going to interfere or bother you. They're going to guide you and support you. But Michael is the go-to archangel if you feel energetic, toxic debris in your energy field or you feel like you are in a heavy place. Ask him to come and help you clear it. He'll help you find ways to clear it. He'll help lift you you'll you'll feel that energy you'll feel lighter he's the one if you're afraid anxiety worry toxic buildup you need help getting the fo- out of the fog you know so you can see clearly as to what you can do to be proactive and take action in your own life michael okay if you're working with healing a physical illness that's present Raphael, Archangel Raphael is the, you know, healing angel. Definitely call on him to help and surround you and protect you. Uh, With the two, uh, you can find ways that are going to work for you. You can find ways. You, You know, it's not about whether you can find a way. It's about if you are willing to allow yourself to find a way and if you want to. Be honest with yourself. And one of the last things I want to bring up is this energy of March is wow, okay? You know, during this live broadcast, it's March 5th, 2015. So we have full moon today. Okay, great opportunity to release. And I highly recommend it because we have some major energy that is really got a momentum building. And it's a powerful energy. It's a power energy. It's about taking your power back, empowering you. Uh, March energy is really revving up. I mean, we're already into the fifth day of the month. But this is the month to do something, to be proactive, to do something you want to do, to make changes you want to make. Use these energies of the moon and the energy of March. It's a very powerful time, uh, much more than you realize. Uh, I mean, we already have that momentum of March, and then you have the full moon on top of that, which is even more magnified. So if you feel like you've struggled letting go of something or you need a little help, 
this can be a big boost. It's like a boosting antenna on top of the regular one you have. I mean, it's just going to help you. It's absolutely going to help you. There's lots of ways that you can, you can heal and starting with the energy, your perspective, your thoughts, shifting those negative thoughts and complaining into something positive. Are you complaining a lot? Are you blaming somebody else for everything that you experience? Things like that. You're looking for the negative. What are you doing that you could do better and change? Start with some simple things. And like I said before in the last segment, when you're writing these things out and they're looking at you back in your face, and I recommend using good old pen and paper or pencil. Don't use pencil. (laughs) Pencil is just like, no, no. Use a pen. Commit to being honest with yourself. Use a pen and write it because your energy flows through your handwriting. It really does. It's flowing through. And you're seeing it. It's kind of journaling. And then rewrite it. Just change the story physically on the paper. People go, how do I change reality? You can do that by working with it that way. Change it. Rewrite those sentences into the way you want to live. Now you're physically claiming what you would prefer to have, what you want, not what you don't want. You're getting all of that out of your system. This helps move energy out that you're holding in. If you feel like some of the things that you are experiencing physically or where you're not letting go of energies, try this. Try this. If, if writing is just not for you and you want to type, that's fine. There is no excuse. There's a way. There's a will. There's a way. If you don't want to type, use an audio recorder. There's all kinds of ways you can do this. Um, there is no excuse. There's just the intention. What is your intention? Do you want to stay angry? Do you want to stay in fear, anxiety, and worry? Or do you want to do something about it? I've been giving you some very simple tips today to help you get started. There's a whole lot more to it, but don't be overwhelmed. Take it one day at a time and do something about it. Do something for yourself. Use the March energy to ramp it up and give you a boost to get you going on a program that's going to help you live in a happier lifestyle a happy, healthier lifestyle. You have your full moon energy too. You have your angels. And I just want to say thanks for listening. I really hope that this has helped lift you and help you find a way to make your life what your dreams are Uh, because you can do this. You can work on that reality and make transformation happen today. I'm Dr. Jen. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show. Thank you so much for being a part of our listening family. Please tune in or join us over on my website, jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Sign up for the newsletter for the show listings and other articles and workshops that I have going on. And there's a free ebook when you sign up for the newsletter. Um, I wish everyone much love and happiness. Power on and heal your life in a very positive way. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com. 